Water signs, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tisa, so great to have you here. And we're here, we're looking into March the 23rd and the 24th is 2024. Now, everything that you need to know about me is gonna be all right down below in our description box. And I do thank you here for your love and your support. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this down so you can see everything here, okay? So this is water. I decided to use this deck today as opposed to the other one because I just wanna switch it up and you know, do something different, okay? So let's see here. This is water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Justice is served. Mm. Justice caught with him. Justice is served. It's cause and effect for everything, you know? You know? What goes around comes around. The scales need to be balanced. Maybe a Libra significant. This could be a legal situation. Okay, let's see what else. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, six, um, Scorpio. Mm. Six of Pentacles right here in the High Priestess. Mm -hmm. Something here is a cause and effect financially because I feel like somebody's intuitive right here, right? Or some secret that somebody did or something like that. It's a cause and effect, some secret it was on. Or somebody here is intuitive. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles right here. This Ace of Pentacles is like a new beginning, new prosperity, new stability. Okay, some of you, I feel like for some of you right here, you got a new beginning right here. It's financially. Six of Pentacles right there. And this Ace of Pentacles. You might know it for some of you right here with the High Priestess. That that definitely could be. We're on the brink of some type of new beginning here financially. This could be your karma for some people right here. So for some of you, maybe you do have a new beginning here. It's financially. Okay. What else is going on here, please? It's water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. So I kind of feel with the High Priestess that you know this is a new beginning in some way. Right? Yeah, the Strength card is reversed. Hmm. And I feel Pentacles right here. So some of you, you have a new beginning in some way, you know, but justice is here, right? And then with the strength card reverse, something here is a challenge, I feel. But that's a part of the karma I'm getting right here with the justice card. Something is a challenge, yeah. I feel like something here is good news. It's right here, Ace of Pentacles, boom. New new beginning or new prosperity or new beginning. But then there is a challenge here, though, too, because this strength card reverse. So as soon as the universe gives you something that's positive in some way, they also give you a challenge right here. So you have to balance it out in some way, right? Or what will you do? Could be the case. What will you do? Something like that. I'm getting the universe is doing here, okay? Yeah, it's fate. Whatever you do, something's fate, okay? I feel like the universe is watching. I get a sense right here, okay? Yeah. What's the message here? Yeah, yeah. And a neck of cups. Wow, the world card right here. I'm just hearing like, please know that the universe is watching. Something like that. I also could feel with the justice and the strength card, maybe something here was a challenge. Maybe something here was making you weak. In some way, I'm not sure what it could have been. The strength card reverse could be weakness in some way. You know, we have strengths and we have weaknesses, right? We have to balance it out in some type of way. Could be the case, right? That's karma. Something here, it could be like a time right now for you to balance out some weakness in some way. Whatever it could be. Okay. What's the message right here, please? The justice card right here. Right. And a justice also could make me feel like right here, right? All right, so we have weakness right here, and we have strength, right? Will you balance it out right now, or will you just go towards, you know, something that'll make something here be a regret in some way? Five of Cups is regrets, is grief, is sorrow right here. Okay, so this could be about a mother in some way. Okay. This even could be, right? Maybe you're realizing here 
okay? There's something that you're doing in some way, right? It could be you or somebody else. So I'm just going to say you, okay? Let's say something here that you're doing in some way right here. It affects the mother. They're in, they're in regrets or they're in grief about you for some people here. You know, it's a cause and effect for something that you do in some way because, you know, it could be affecting somebody else. Could be a mother. Could be a Taurus, a Libra, or somebody you're getting right here, okay? Something that affected somebody, I feel. So then you have to look at, you know, the things that you do, how it's affecting somebody else in some way. Could be the case. And, you know, that could, uh, that also could be them. So whoever needs to hear that, to get right here. Two of Cups right here. This could be about love for some people here. It's a cause and effect for some weak energy, weakness, whatever that could be. We have strengths, we have weakness. It's a cause and effect, strength court reverse, for some weakness. It's affecting somebody over here. You, a mother, a legal situation, something like that, okay? A love situation, it's affecting them. So that's why we have justice here, to balance it all out and harmonize it in some way. Okay, you're eight of swords. Okay, I feel like somebody here has to balance something out in their life in some type of way. Okay, if they don't balance something out in their life in some type of way, they're going to be powerless in something here in some way. Okay. Right? Or it's a cause and effect for putting somebody here on their head about something. Could be the case. Or maybe you're stuck or they're stuck. This even could be jail. Could be. Because justice and eight of swords. This definitely could be a legal situation. And this one could be in prison. So I'm not sure something is like that, but it could be for some people here. Okay, so you have to think about that, you know. How does that make somebody else feel, you know, if you go to jail, something like that, or if they go to jail, or whoever could go to jail, right? So how does that make somebody feel if somebody go to jail? Somebody has to think about the things that they be doing in some way right here because it really do affect people. I'm getting right here, okay? If somebody really care for you and love you deeply, Okay, and then you go and do this weakness, whatever this is, this is you or them. Okay, then, you know, somebody's going to be regret. They're going to be hurt if something happens to you or something like that. With the Six of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles right here, please. I feel like something here is causing mischief in some way, and you do have to look at it. I kind of feel, you know, you know, you can't be slipping over here. I'm not sure if this is you or who it could be, okay? But somebody could be slipping over here with a strength card in reverse, okay? It's a cause and effect for slipping in some way. You know what I mean? You got to be on point or something like that for somebody here. You do, okay? Because people could be angry right here that's sitting right here beside you or something like that. Like, for real. That's not cool, okay? You need to be knowing that that person right here is like that right there beside you. Some people here. Like, okay? If that's the case here. I'm just reading this trying to figure out, you know? So, it could be many ways. But for some people right here, somebody's angry about some money you have or something like that. They're angry. So, some cause and effect for some weakness over here. Some way, whatever it is. Some weakness to happen. Okay, but somebody could be angry about money for real. They sitting right here beside you for somebody here, okay? You got to look at that for real. Okay, because somebody's cold-hearted right here. King of Swords Reverse is cold-hearted. Okay, but some people will do anything for money. I'm telling you, they really will. They will do anything at all for money. They don't care, you know? They just want some money. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy, child. So we have to look at that. Okay. This 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 weakness strength card even could be somebody got caught slipping. Somebody knows they would do anything for money. They could have found out about them. Okay. Now they regret. Could be the case. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, I feel over here in this row, some deal was here or something. Okay, you have to watch the people around you. That's what I'm getting for some people here. You gotta watch somebody around you. I feel because somebody here, that's all they're looking at is money. 
they angry for real. Somebody could be an enemy in disguise right here in your face. Could be the case, but it don't have to be for everybody here. It's not a personal reading. <laughs> but it could be. Uh -huh. Somebody could be seeing you happy. They mad for some people right here. Could be the case. Right? Or you making plans for something. Something like that. King of Swords reverse is, is evil. What's the King of Swords reverse? <laughs> Four of Pentacles. See, somebody wants to hold you back, I feel, right? Or hold up some money or something like that, right? They do. Okay. Guess I'm getting right here. Yeah. Temperance card. Or somebody wants to reconcile with you because they see you getting money or whatever is going on here, okay? But yeah, I feel like, you know, you're a very intuitive sign, okay? You really have to be on point. You, you know, you're equipped right here with this high priestess energy, okay? Somebody that's very intuitive. Water signs are intuitive. That's your fate. You're intuitive. So you need to pay attention. So get right here. Or they do or whoever do. Somebody does. Okay? Or maybe somebody is paying attention to you. Could be the case. They're paying attention to you. Could be it. Yeah. See how this one holding their heart? Like, dang, yeah, okay. You know, and some things right here too... Okay. I, I named the last 24 hour message for you guys, right? Who do we have here now? Your intuition is letting you know. Who do we have right here beside us now? What energy is they doing now? Is it the same as before? Did they switch up because you got some money? Could be the case, right? Who do we have here now? You know, listen to your intuition, something like that. Because something here could be going to your favor financially. So then who do we have showing up here, right here, right? It doesn't matter if you know them. You have to listen to your intuition about them. You do. You have to listen to your intuition about them for some people here. Hmm. Something here is fate. Somebody's intuitive, I feel. I feel like it's you. You know, okay? If somebody here is really family or if they really are loving Something like that. Are they really loving for real? Okay. And when you get the intuitive message, right? Don't doubt it. Okay. It's time to run away. Okay. If you get an intuitive message about somebody here, it's time to run away. It's time to walk away. It's time to get away. Okay. Because somebody here, right? They're not who they seem to be. I don't, I don't feel like they are. They even could be family. I'm just telling you the truth. You know who it is, I feel, right here. Judgment. Somebody's awakening right here. And somebody's pausing for viewing. Somebody here that could be in a family or something like that. Or somebody. Somebody, okay? <laughs> somebody here. See, that's what I'm getting here. Judgment, right, is waking up and realizing, okay? The high priestess, your intuition goes off. You wake up, you realize, you see it. And still don't want to move on. It's a big no, okay? You have to listen to your intuition. Some things is a difference between life and death. You have to listen to your gut. You equip with it. You're a water sign. Okay. This could be somebody here from the past or something that happened in the past or whatever. Somebody could be coming back from the past or something like that. Why all of a sudden they want to come back from the past and don't move on? Hmm. Okay. You gotta be on point with something like that, okay? Yeah. A cups right here and the ace of pentacles. So I feel like you have a new foundation here, some type of way for some of you right here, right? Or you got a new start in some way here. Could be the case. Alright, what's the ace of pentacles right here, Knight of Cups? Yeah, the hermit card right here. Could be a Virgo. But the hermit is also somebody here that does deep reflecting about something right here, about a relationship or something like that. Okay. Somebody could see them, they're toxic. Okay. Somebody's toxic. Okay. Or well, somebody's tempted to do something here some type of way, right? With a devil card and the um, hermit, they're tempted to do something right here. Okay. I feel like somebody goes inside and figure it out, or well, that's what you need to do. Okay. You need to figure that out. You need to be on point. Somebody here needs to be on point, I feel, okay? Everything that glitters is not gold. I'm getting it. Okay, it could be the case right here. 
Something here is realized about somebody right here, I feel. The sun card right here is realizing it. Okay? Yeah. About some harvest or who they really investing in. Okay? Something like that. <laughs> some message right here, please. Yeah, somebody's going to be stuck. I'm getting right here, right? Because somebody even could have figured out there was a narcissist. They could have figured it out about them right here. This is a stuck, okay? And this, these two right here is narcissists. So somebody could have figured out somebody here was a narcissist. They could have. And it all could have came from some moment of weakness over here. Something like that. See, now it's going to affect somebody, the narcissist or whoever. It's going to affect them right here, right? Because it's competing goals or it's conflict or whatever. Or now somebody's stuck, something like that, right? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like somebody has clarity they're narcissist for some people here. Could be, right? Hmm. Yep, six of wands right here. Well, it's conflict right here, I feel. Right, um, you know, it's conflict getting recognized in some way right here because I feel like right here you have clarity that somebody's a narcissist. So how are they going to get recognized by you if they're narcissists and you figured it out about them? Could be the case, right? Okay. Yeah, so somebody like that, it was such good news communicating with you, I feel. I feel like somebody was communicating right here with the Eight of Wands and a Page of Wands. This is like really good news communicating or something like that. But it's a tower here. A big revelation, a big understanding, or a reckoning in some way right here, right? Could be the case. Hmm. One more. One more right here, please. Okay. Yeah, see? Ten of Wands. See? All of a sudden, something's too hard or something like that. Or somebody's a stalemate or somebody can see them or something like that. Okay? It was too hard to be single. It was too hard like for a luxury. It's too hard for the Virgo or something like that. It's too hard for something like that. Right? And if somebody's a narcissist over here, right here, right? It's a cause and effect for something they're doing to their mother or whoever they're doing it to because I feel like somebody may figure out that somebody here is a narcissist. Okay, they can really figure that out right now. Okay, it's like somebody doesn't want their toxic stuff, somebody has to really keep it in check or something like that. Feel and also pay attention to the people that's around you. Okay, I'm getting like um, bold, bold eagle, something like that. I don't, I don't know why I'm getting that. Okay, but yeah, it says, Well, they claim it, I'm your baby tonight and forever. Right, this one right here made me feel like they have one a mess. <laughs> Maybe they do for some people here. Maybe they do. This says premonition. Okay. Somebody could have even seen something that somebody's doing before. Maybe somebody already seen some behavior before. Maybe somebody already been around a narcissist before. Okay. Mm -hmm. so they costume, designer, fashion, seamstress. Okay. So maybe somebody here is a costume designer or maybe somebody here has a mask. Okay, yeah. It says trip to a dealership. Okay, let me see what this one's saying. This one right here is saying, oh yes, the answer has been spoken. We have King Tut treasures and we have right here within the next four days right here. Seductive and mysterious. Okay, somebody here is going to survive something I'm getting right here. Right, I also do see that somebody's doing a lot of spots, a lot of spying. Okay, you're going to survive something right here. You're a very rare treasure right here. You could even, it's very rare that you could find something right here. Could be within the next four days for some people. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that's what we have here. Okay, thank you so much for taking a look here. And I say you are peace, blessings, love, and light. And I'm going to stay to you.